most people actually, sorry to say this, and I don't mean this in a condescending way, they don't even understand what being a Christian means. It's a follower of Christ, not in lip service. It becomes part of the permeated being, something that infiltrates, not because you say, okay, Jesus, come on in, and it doesn't work that way. This is why I am against just having a discussion about this on the way here, I am against the whole concept of repeat the sinner's prayer. You can have the whole message right, which there are some preachers out there preaching the right message, and then they say, now, if you heard what I heard, if you, if you listened to what I said, if you agree or if this has touched your soul, now simply repeat this prayer. How do you get someone to actually realize not putting the words in their mouth. See, when you put the words in somebody's mouth, I'm sorry, it doesn't have the personal meaning. You don't know where I've been and I don't know where you've been. I don't know what you grapple with and you don't know what I grapple with. So to give a one size fits all, I understand people don't know what to do after they've heard the message. What should I do? Keep listening, keep studying, keep following and it will all become clear. This isn't some uh, go out there ambiguous find it. It will all become clear. I started like most of you. After I heard the message, I, I, there must be something more. What do I have to do? Because I was, I was conditioned that I saw what I saw on TV. People are supposed to come forward and they're supposed to accept Jesus. And until it became clear to me, I don't accept Jesus. Jesus accepted me. I don't say a sinner's prayer because that one time that I said it, that I repeated after somebody, I know I'm a sinner, do you know that most people don't even know what sinner means? It's not the checkbox of you're a drug addict and you're alcoholic and you smoke and whatever else. You sin because that's the condition you came into the world. You came out of the womb that way in the imprint of fallen Adam. And then everything after that, all the acts of your lifetime, those two factors make it impossible for anybody to say, well, I said the prayer, and that sums up my issues. No, you are to talk to God. Once the eyes are open, you begin a discourse. It may seem to you like a monologue, but you start talking to God, and you start telling God, although God knows all about you, he wants to hear that you, out of your mouth, between you and him, can acknowledge what your issue, what do you grapple with? What are your issues? Because at the, at the get-go, it's going to be the things that you grapple with. And then as you go, you begin to realize it's not just the things you grapple with, but there are other things. And those other things become clearer to you as you read the Word. Come to this house, magnify the Lord, lift up holy hands, our hearts in one accord. Worship and bow down before Him.